Yes. Hello, and welcome to this webinar hosted by THS International about student life and the international reception. There is a bit of delay, so I apologize for that. But um, to present ourselves, uh, my name is Francesco, and I am part of the THS management team as the head of THS International. Uh, so I right now work full time for the student union um, and have taken a year's study break from my studies. Before that, I studied for 1.5 years applied and computational mathematics here at KDH. And once I am done with my position in December, I will continue with finishing my thesis and then venture into the job world. And then we have Anna. Yes. Hi, um, I'm Anna. I am from Germany and I just completed my first year in the aerospace master program here at KDH. I am one of the two project managers of the international reception this year and together with Cabo, who will be also answering um, questions in the chat later, I'm responsible for the reception this year. And then we also have Stephanie with us here. Yes, hi everyone, I'm Stephanie. I'm one of the two marketing managers. I'm also from Germany and I arrived last year in August and I completed my first year of my master yeah, studies in media management. Yes, so the agenda for today is that we will give you a short intro into what PHS is, uh, and then we will go a little bit deeper talking about chapters and associations. And then finally, and most importantly, in my opinion, we will talk about the PHS International Reception. So let's get started. So, THS, um, which stands for Techniska Hochschule Studentkar, even though my pronunciation is terrible, uh, is KDH's own student union. The, uh, we have three main focus areas. Uh, the first is education quality, and this was one of the founding principles of the union. Uh, THS has existed to represent student rights in every decision that KDH makes, as this is a requirement by law, and we are always happy to help if you have any concern, like complaints about your student, like your education. If there's any issues with your classes, you're always free to reach out to us and we will be there to represent you. Another of our focus areas is student life, which involves both guaranteeing that you have a good study environment at KDH so that the campus is livable, there's enough study places and uh, it works everything well, but also to guarantee you a good social life. So we have a lot of social activities, such as, for example, the international reception, but there's also parties and associations, we, which we will explain later. And this is all to make sure that your study life at KDH is not only books. Finally, uh, our third focus area is business relations. We try to be a link between the job market and the students. So we have a lot of career fairs and lunch lectures and collaborations with businesses so that they, so that you can connect and so that you have a, a helping hand in reaching out into the job market. We are a not-for-profit organization. Uh, so all the money that we get, we reinvest into the students and we receive money in three main ways. The first is through government grants. The second is through membership fees, and we have about 9,000 members. And finally, we also have a lot of collaborations with KDH and different businesses with, uh, that we do to get more funding and invest in more activities for the students. The structure of um, THS is shown in this slide here. But as you can see, it is quite complicated and somewhat boring. I'm still wrapping my head around it. So we have tried to simplify it a little bit in this uh, slide because, uh, to kind of explain how THS works. At the top, there's the union council, which is the decision maker of the, of the organization. The union council elects the union board, which is the strategical guide of the organization. And so they are the people that create the operational plan, for example, of THS. The union board then elects the management team, of which I am part of, which is more the day-to-day -day operational part of the organization, of which, for example, again, the THS International Reception is part. So we are the people that you know, will do the day-to-day -day work to guarantee that the union can continue. Uh, as I mentioned, you can become every student at KDH can become a THS member. They will have to pay a yearly fee. And you do get some exclusive benefits as for being a THS member. Uh, one of the main ones is that you have the ability to sign up at SSSB and live in their housing. 
SSSB is the student housing queue system uh, that is in Sweden and being a teacher's member will allow you to accumulate queue points and live in their corridor rooms or apartments. Uh, you also get free entrance to Tenta pubs, which are big parties held in the student union building after exams. They're a lot of fun. And you also get some exclusive discounts uh, to the bookstore, restaurant and cafe of the union. Uh, and also you get some discounts in renting THS facilities, such as, for example, Ospik, which you can see in the bottom right, which is a cabin in the woods with a sauna that overlooks a lake. Beautiful place. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, something that we have seen, though, has confused students in the past is that you do not have to be a THS member for receiving general student discounts. Uh, that is managed through a third company, which is called Mesonaut, which will contact you once you are registered to courses. This is important that just having an admission letter is not enough. And until you are contacted by Mesonaut, you cannot have the student's discount, for example, for the public transport. Uh, because as you can see in this card, in the bottom right, there's a small SL logo. SL is the public, public transport company in Stockholm. You need this card with this logo to have the uh, student discount. And also notice that this card is digital. You can ask for the physical version, but digital is equally fine. You don't have to be a teacher's member for, for student discounts, but if you are a student uh, THS member, your card will have a pretty picture on it, which, in my opinion, is completely worth it. You can see it now. Um, the, and also, additionally, it will also show uh, your chapter, which Stephanie will explain later. The building in the picture is Nimble, which is the student union house, uh, probably my favorite spot on campus. It's three stories tall. Uh, huge building. Uh, it's completely owned by uh, THS. It's right on campus. And the interesting thing is that the land upon the building is built is actually owned by the king. And the rent for the land is 100 crowns every year, which we budget for every year, but we've never been invoiced for, which is understandable. Uh, Nimble has a lot of facilities inside, uh, such as, for example, there's many study places all across the building. It's a great spot to go study. There is a lot of space to be with friends and uh, study together. Um, we also have CarX, which is kind of the reception office of the building. Uh, so they can help you with student union membership questions, uh, SSSB question, Mesonaut questions. They're usually very helpful and can always redirect you to the correct people. Additionally, as I mentioned, we have a restaurant and a cafe which both have very good quality food. I really recommend the cafe breakfast buffet. Uh, once it starts again, it's very good and very much worth it. But you don't necessarily have to bring, uh, eat the food from the restaurant and cafe because you can also bring your own food and eat it in the many microwaves that we have throughout the whole building, way more cost efficient for students. We don't need money. Uh, and we also have a bar. Uh, as, we, as I said, we have parties in the student union building, but also usually on Fridays, there is uh, Nimble pubs. Prices here are also usually more competitive than in the rest of Stockholm, so it's a very nice environment. Uh, I really recommend it. I've been there multiple times and always enjoyed it. So that's about THS Central, and now I can leave the word to Stephanie, who will explain chapters and associations. Yes, um, yeah. Thank you, uh, Francesco. So yeah, I will tell you a bit about chapters and associations and what you can do in a long run at KDH and how you can get involved in different areas you are interested in. So when you arrive at KDH, you might get as confused as me when I arrived last year because you might see people running, dancing, walking around campus dressed in colorful outfits, as you can see on those pictures. Um, those people show that they belong to a THS chapter and each chapter has a different outfit and a dress code. So what, what exactly are chapters? Chapters consist of people from different study groups and every study program belongs to a specific chapter. In total, there are at the moment 22 different chapters and you can see the different logos here on the picture on the bottom. Chapters organize different fun activities such as sport events, trips, pubs or also business events targeted to their study programs. So it's not only a great opportunity for you to meet new people, but possibly also get in contact with some business and companies. 
at um, events, you have the chance to get different patches, which you can sew on your overall. And Francesco, you have multiple patches. Do you want to show us your favorite ones and explain a little bit about it? Yes, I first want to show off my overall, since after two years of having it, I wrote the, well, my nickname, except for the F, because I have been lazy. Uh, I also am very proud of all the patches I own, since I'm also lazy and have not sewn them on. Uh, but for example, the my two probably favorite patches are for sure the one from the international reception of last year, of which I was part of, uh, and it has our mascot, which is a cute octopus. Uh, but also from the chapter, I'm part of the physics chapter, and uh, we had this patch for one specific pub that I really enjoyed, the IKEA pub. And so there's a lot of times that events have unique patches that you can get only if you go to that event. So usually, you know, if you have a lot of patches, it means that you've gone to a lot of events and so you're cool. Uh, so it's quite a cool thing of the KDH student life of all these patches and collect them all. Yeah, so I highly recommend get ready to practice and improve your sewing skills, I would say. <laughs> um, but yeah, continuing, every chapter has their own chapter hall where you can study together, meet friends or heat up your food during lunch break. And each chapter is also hosting a chapter pub during the week, which you can attend. Uh, in the right picture, for example, you can see the chapter hall from the S chapter, which are the civil engineering students. Something to important to mention here is that you need to have a THS membership, as Francesco just said, in order to become a member of your chapter. So once you're a member of THS, you will see a little logo of the chapter you belong to on your student card you've just seen. Um, but chapters do not only have a social function, each chapter has a study board president who manages the student representatives of courses and programs. And if you have any problems or if you need help with anything, uh, you can contact them and they will step in for you and help you. So you can say that chapters also stand for students' rights. Now we will tell you something about groups and associations at KDH and THS you can be involved in. So at the moment, there are over 50 student-run groups and associations you can join. So you have a big variety of groups you can be part of, depending on your interests and yeah, where you can have a lot of fun. The cool thing is, if you cannot find the right group or association that fits your interest, uh, you can found your own organization. Um, you simply have to check THS website where you will find all the information and then you just have to follow THS rules um, yeah, if you want to found your own one. Those that are available right now are in different focus areas, uh, career, event, party, social and sports. And I would say that they already cover quite a big area of interest. At the very top of the pictures, uh, you can, for example, see THS Future, which is the career oriented and business related organization at KTH. And they created a platform where you can discover career opportunities, meet companies, and yeah, get connected to potential employers. Uh, or you can also just join the lunch lectures and other career activities uh, throughout the year. The picture underneath is THS Main, the Masters in International Student Group of THS, that organizes multiple fun events throughout the semester, such as hikes, gas, karaoke, but just to name a few. Um, but Anna, you're also a member of THS Main, right? Uh, which was your favorite event so far? Yes, exactly. I am also part of THS Main and I was on the board even on the spring semester, so got involved there as well because it was so much fun. And I would say my favorite events this past year were all the board games where you just mingle with other students, enjoy some fun games, um, also learn lots of new board games and have a great time. Great. So it's great to become a member because you not only find new friends, but also apparently new board games. So check that out. Um, the last picture shows KDH Flavors, which is an organization that promotes many different traditions and cultures of India. And they organize many events and activities such as cooking sessions or also Bollywood workshops and also the bigger events like the Holi Festival or Diwali to strengthen the international community. Um, but you will also get to know different associations uh, during the reception weeks as well. So stay tuned. Then we have some big projects at KDH I would like to point out. The first one is THS Amara, which you can see in the upper corner, and which arranges uh, every year in November the largest career fair in Scandinavia here at KDH. And it consists of around yeah, 250 students who organize the, the project. This year, the fair will again be digital and takes place from the 23rd to the 24th of November. So you can already note that down in your calendar to not miss it. 
Um, there you can meet and network with over 180 potential employers and companies, either for future job internships, summer jobs, or maybe you also find your company you might want you want to write your thesis with one day. Uh, then we have SSNC, or the Student Nobel Nightcap, which is also a student-run project that organizes the official after party after the festivities of the Nobel Week and the Nobel Banquet on the 10th of December. So this year I'm also part of SSNC and until now I can tell you that's a lot of fun and a great opportunity to also meet students from other universities since it's a project that rotates every year among the big universities here in Stockholm. Um, but still all students can can join, although it might not be hosted at KDH. So it's a really yeah, fun project as well. Lastly, we have the THS International Reception, which we are all part of here. And I guess you're all very curious about what we do. Um, yeah, we are a student-run project hosting various welcome events for new masters and exchange students at KDH. But I don't want to go too much into detail because Anna will tell you more about it, what we do, yeah, when, what you can await. So hold a little longer. By joining all those projects, it's not only a great way for you to meet your friends, new people after you arrive here in Stockholm, it's also a great way to work on your CV and get work experience and learn new stuff. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind after you arrive here. Finally, some of you might want to get active and stay fit during your stay here at KDH, and there's a lot of things you can do and try out. So on campus, there's a gym, which is called KDH Holland, and it's uh, not owned by KTH directly, but by an external sports chain. So you can become a member for a student price and train there in different gym classes. It's also located next to the big forest behind KTH. So it's also perfect to head off for a run or exercises outdoors. Then there's THS Sports, which is also a student organization and they organize different sports tournaments throughout the year. So for example, volleyball or basketball, but just to name a few. Chapters do also have their own sports groups, so if you get involved in your chapter, you can compete in your chapter team against another chapter, which is also quite fun. Lastly, there are also multiple sports-specific associations at KDH, for example, rowing club, golf club, uh, American football, sailing, so definitely a bunch of things uh, to do, and also a great possibility to try out sports activities you might not have done before. So I, for example, I discovered orienteering after I got here uh, yeah, in Stockholm through the orienteering club, which I've never done before because it's not yeah, that popular in Germany. But here in Sweden, it's very common uh, and even school kids already do it in sports class. So yeah, I really enjoy it because firstly, you run outdoors, the forest uh, with a map and a compass, and it's just yeah, a fun activity to, to socialize, but also train your navigation skills. So I highly recommend yeah, to try out something completely new as well. Um, THS Sports, as I just introduced, as well as THS Main and the THS International Reception are all overseen by the head of THS International, which is Francesco, and are subgroups of the mother organization THS International. Um, altogether, they represent the international students' interests and the rights and aim for a better integration of international students here at THS and KDH. But now, I will hand over to Anna, who will finally tell you more about the reception weeks in August and September. Yes, thank you for that. Then I will jump right into what the THS International Reception is, since I think many of you were already wondering what that was about. So. How it works at KDH is that the bachelor students get their reception by their chapters when they start their studies here at KDH and all new masters and exchange students. So basically all of you get their reception organized by a project team. So that is the THS International Reception. We're a project team that organizes event and we're supported by buddies um, throughout the whole time. Um, and we're all student volunteers. Um, working on making your time here at KDH and your starts um, a lot easier. So the reception is supposed to help you meet and connect with other new students um, at KDH to get to know the university better and to also get to know Stockholm better to make it easier for you to settle down and actually feel home here at KDH. And how it works is that one part of the THS International Reception are the buddy meetings. 
So everyone that registers in our sign-up system gets assigned to a buddy group, which is led by one or two of our buddies. Um, you will be in a group with about 20 other students that are most of the time in a similar study field than you are. So you get a chance to already meet some fellow students who will also start their studies as you are. Um, and then they will reach out, the buddies will reach out to you in the end of July, beginning of August, introduce themselves to you and schedule your first meetings. Um, and that already gives you a chance to get to know people um, and to get to know Stockholm. And then another main part of the reception are all of the events that we are organizing and planning for all of you. So the reception starts on August 2nd with the first arrival day this year and will go six weeks until the 11th of September, where we will have our last and also biggest event this reception, which is the banquet, which will be held in our student union house in Nimble, and which I'm personally very much looking forward to because it's most likely going to be an awesome evening with great food and entertainment. So you should consider signing up for it. Um, and throughout the whole six weeks, we will be having over 100 events to which um, all of you can sign up for. Um, and since that was asked a lot of times, you don't have to arrive on an arrival day if you want to join our events, but you can arrive and participate in the events whenever you get here during the time of the reception. Um, as I said, we have many different events that we're organizing for you. So to get like an overview, we have, for example, board games um, and pubs where you just mingle, get to know people, chat with someone. And if you want to be more active, we also have lots of sports events like hikes, nature in Stockholm and around Stockholm is great. Uh, we go kayaking or also do soccer or have volleyball events. And if you want to get to know the campus better, we also will be having campus treasure hunts for you. And if you want to get to know Stockholm better, um, we will be having city tours in Gamla Stan and Sudamalm. And then, for example, we'll also be going to some museums here in Stockholm. So, for example, Skampton, you might have heard of it. It's the oldest open air museum, which is really nice and which I enjoyed personally a lot um, last year during the reception. And then I think since all of us have been part of the reception before, what were your favorite events, Francesca and Stephanie? during your reception. I can go because I was actually, uh, I did, basically did not participate in the reception that I had as a student, uh, even though I only, I attended the buddy meetings and those were a lot of fun and like really helped me out with getting to know some people. Uh, but then when I started getting involved and helping out at events, I think the baking nights uh, were amongst the funnest events that I've uh, participated in, but also the Auspix, as I mentioned, the cabin in the wood, uh, it's such a beautiful place and like during the reception we have a day that we spend there and swimming going to the sauna a lot of fun and i really recommend that enjoyed it yeah i also enjoyed pretty really much the the baking night where we made kanelbulle which is a typical swedish pastry and there's absolutely no way around it so get ready for it and i also enjoyed pretty much the kayaking event because it was the first time for me that i tried out kayaking so yeah these are yeah these were my two favorite events so far that yeah, I guess you can already see we all enjoyed the events. It's always fun. Um, and you can choose whatever you want to, because how our reception works is that we have a sign up system. So first off, there is lots of new masters and exchange students. So we cannot offer all of the over 100 events to everyone. Obviously, um, we will be having different types of events. Um, for one, we have events that are free so that you do not need to pay for but also since we're going to museums and have events where you will get food, um, some of the events you need to pay a small amount of money to attend. And then we also have some events where you can only sign up to a limited number of events because every one of you should get the chance to participate in the reception. And other events where we have like lots of spots um, available, those you can sign up to as many as you want to. But you will get more information about that in July, when you actually get to sign up to all of the events. The sign up is done through the sign up system, which our great IT team has created, and it works in a three step process. So basically, the first thing that happens is that you need to register online. 
I already mentioned it that you can only get a body group if you're registered because otherwise we do not know that you're here at KDH. So if you want to participate in the body meetings, you need to register also um, you will at the beginning of July with more information um, on what to do. And after that, you will get the day and time on when we will actually open the sign up. So first off, you need to register. After that, you will get a list with all the events also sent to your email. So we can already go through it and see what you would like to do and in which events you would want to participate in. And then you will get to sign up. I would recommend to be fast because some of the events have a very limited number of spots and our demand, demand is higher than the spots that are available. So if you really want to participate in that one event, you should sign up very fast. And after the sign up, you then come here to Stockholm, uh, to KDH, and you need to confirm that you're actually attending the event. So what we will be doing is throughout the whole reception, we will be having payment desks that we will that will be scheduled and the schedule will be sent out beforehand and be published on our Facebook group. So you actually know where to go to and during what time. You will have to come to one of the payment desks to confirm your attendance and then also pay for the events that are paid events. We will have payment desks during the two arrival days, but also during the weeks. So you don't need to worry and have to come to one of the arrival days, but can come whenever it works best for you before your event starts, obviously. And after that, you are free to come to our events and enjoy them, have a great time. I think I can speak for the whole project team that we are, we are very much looking forward to finally welcoming you in August. Um, we've worked a lot on planning your reception and are excited for some great events and getting to know you. Um, but we're also aware that the pandemic is still going on. Uh, we are monitoring the situation we're complying with governmental restrictions, of course, and we also follow KDH and THS guidelines to make sure that all of our events um, are safe and that everyone feels comfortable. The reception did take place last year as well, so we do have some experience in how to um, plan and do events during this kind of situation. So we're a bit better prepared this time. Also, um, we will be having many outdoor events, which is always good because you can keep a social distance to each other, so don't get too close. Um, also, we're looking at having digital events right now um, to make sure that everyone feels safe and can participate in the reception. And for example, whenever we handle your food, um, our staff is wearing masks and gloves, so we do take precautions to make sure that everyone is safe. And then something that is very important for us that you are aware of it um, if you feel sick or if you show any symptoms of COVID-19, do not come to our events. I think we've all been in the situation for quite a time, um, so we know how to work with it, but it's important. We are lots of students at the events. We have many project team members and buddies. So if you're sick, it is okay if you cancel on short notice. Usually it's not because we want you to come, but if you're sick, don't come to the events. And then also keep yourself updated about the situation here in Stockholm. We will also help you a bit um, with information on our Facebook group, which you should all definitely join. It's called KDH International Students Fall 2021, and you can find it when you scan the QR code on the slide. Um, when you join, want to join it, you need to put in your name, your study program, and also if you're a master or an exchange student, and then we will accept you to the group. Um, on this Facebook group, we will share all information regarding the THS International Reception. So this is the point where you get all the information that you need, most likely. Also, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. Um, we're happy to help you. Um, so you can reach us in with our email, info at thsint.se. You can also follow us on Instagram at THS underscore international underscore reception, where our lovely marketing managers are posting updates <laughs> and might also give you a sneak peek on what's going to happen in August, so you know what to expect. And then we also have some more information under our website um, at www.thsint.se. So 
lots of sources to get some more information and to already get excited for the reception this August. Just, and uh, then some, we already... Uh, something, sorry, uh, something that I wanted to state again is that the whole of the reception is completely voluntary, so you don't have to attend, but you can if you want to attend. And, I mean, we all recommend you to attend, but you are free to decide. And yes, so I'll leave this slide up, but we have received some questions beforehand sent by you through the um, webinar, but also that we have received on our Facebook page. Uh, so we wanted to answer some of these questions. And then if there are any more questions, you can go to uh, the new at KDH page where we will be chatting with you for the next hour and a half or so. Uh, so the first question that we received many time is a question about the quarantine requirements because at the moment there are still regulations that certain parts of the world need a quarantine when they enter Sweden. Uh, about this, we wanted to recommend you to obviously follow those recommendations. Uh, Sweden works slightly differently where it's not as much regulations but recommendations, but it's because the government trusts that the people will do the right thing. Um, you can have updates about this on the Swedish government page, but also on the new at KDH page, there's a FAQ um, managed by uh, KDH that is always updated. We will also try to keep it updated on our groups as well so that you have all the information that you need. Additionally, uh, Sweden has an infrastructure to have you stay at home, uh, even as you just arrived, since you, if you have accommodation through KDH, you will receive bedding, but also you can always order food through Foodora or Uber Eats or Volt. Those are all food delivery systems, but there is also, for example, Willys and Mathem, which are two supermarkets that deliver at your home. And plus, you can always, uh, Amazon has arrived in, uh, at, uh, in Sweden, but also IKEA does home delivery, so you can buy all the utensils you need so that you can stay at home those first days and then participate in all the social life of Sweden. And we will, in any case, post more information about this in our Facebook group, but it's good for you to know that there is a way to quarantine in a reasonable manner. Um, another question that we received a lot is how to get more involved. And for this, I like more involved in THS. And for this, I can leave the word to Anna. Yes, I can take that one. So I would say I would recommend to get involved at THS, as we all are doing it. Um, you will already got a great overview um, by Stephanie about chapters and associations, but there will be the Union Day on August 25th, which is a Wednesday. Um, there, all of the associations of THS are representing themselves. Um, you can go in their Zoom rooms since it is also going to be all digital this year and ask them questions. They're all happy to help you and see you if that you want to get involved. We're also going to be part of it, so if you have any questions for us want to get involved at THS International Reception, we're always happy to see people uh, doing something. And also throughout the whole time of the reception, or especially during the time where the chapters have the reception, it, there will be also associations on campus with like stands um, representing themselves. So keep your eye, eyes open and look out for them and ask them questions. They're always happy to see you. And also to add, we also have a lot of collaboration events, so those are also a great way. And like we also have a spring reception, um, which is always good to market because it's a lot of fun and uh, we really recommend you getting involved. And um, another question that we receive many times is for people that are not arriving on the arrival days, if we, is there, if, if there is any guidance on reaching Stockholm, and for this Stephanie has a great answer. Yes, because if you join the Facebook group, you will find a yeah great student guide, which one of our colleagues um, wrote the last couple of weeks with a lot of information about arriving, about accommodation as well. So I would really recommend you to check that out um, to see other possibilities to arrive to Stockholm. And furthermore, there's also KDH Entree, which you can also always contact and yeah or visit during yeah the opening days, contact via mail, contact via phone. So they are also very happy to help you out. Yes. And the final question that we wanted to kind of discuss here is that we received a lot of concern about the winter here in Stockholm because uh, it's famous for being quite cold and quite dark. Uh, and to share some personal experience with that, I personally come from Rome, which is a very hot city uh, where we have a lot of light. So the 
change to Stockholm was quite big, um, but I think it, it's quite manageable. Uh, my advice is always like to keep yourself active, uh, take those very few sunny moments to go outside, be outside as much as possible. Um, Stockholm is beautiful because there's so much green uh, places, parks nearby that you can go and take hikes uh, that really get your uh, mood up, I would say. So that's always something that has helped me in those uh, darker months. And what about you, Anna? Yeah, yeah so I, can, I, can... <laughs> I can agree because yeah, meeting friends and study together made it much easier when I was yeah here in, during my first winter. Um, and I also recommend you to try out some winter activities. So for example, go ice skating or cross country skiing if there's snow, which we had quite a lot last winter. I can highly recommend you. And then yeah, winter flies by as well and you will also survive it. Yes, I would say I agree. Um, the cold is not as bad as everyone says. We did have lots of snow, so that made it a lot nicer. Um, the short days are kind of hard sometimes. Um, so as the other two said, be active, go out, meet people, study, just keep yourself busy with other stuff. And then also KDH does offer different mental health services that you should reach out to if you need. Um, so there is something that you can actually do um, and always reach out if the winter is getting too rough for you. I, I think uh, Sweden has a saying that there's no bad weather, there's just bad clothing. So pack one jacket more and you should be fine and yeah so uh that is all for us um you if you have any more questions you're as, as we said welcome to uh, ask them in the facebook group but again we will be online in the chat at the kdh.sc new at kdh page if you scan the qr code it will bring you there um uh, it will be us plus other product team members there will also be two KDH representatives, but we recommend that if you have questions that are more specific to KDH and your education, it's better to email info at kdh.se or your program coordinator. Um, I hope you had a good time listening to our webinar, and we hope to see you all in August. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.